sick, disturbed cat. It's a good boy. Did you hear that? I earned the right to be called a good boy. You earned the right to be hit by a minivan. The whole deal was to make animal talking in the most realistic way. Let's say it was me, but you know that I'm a talking cat. What? And then suddenly, you know, Hamish was presented to me, the dog who plays Bosco. And this dog had so much expression. I'm thinking that this was a real good time for a walk, Jerry. And then we had to choose the cat. But since the dog was so impressive in his body, and the cat is very impressive in what he say, we had to choose really a tiny, little, very normal cat. So we ended up with Cairo, this little orange tabby cat. They're gonna throw your ass in jail where tattooed meth addicts will butt fuck you daily for 15 years to life. We would replace the whole head of the cat or the whole head of the dog in CG to make them talk. You're out, you lead. Every scene you could have a normal acting dog or acting cat, non-talking animal, and right after that, in the same scene, have a CG dog or a CG cat talking uh, to the main character, so the transition between those had to be completely invisible. You can still make the choice, Jerry. You're still a good man. I try to be a good man. I want to be a good man. There's a cat. Fuck you, blaming on me. At the beginning, you know, we were all looking for actors, you know, making the voice of the dog and the voice of the cat, etc., etc. And then suddenly we received this thing that uh, Ryan actually recorded himself with his iPhone. And suddenly in my brain, it was like, obviously, that is the voices that he hears. So, of course, that has to be him. We got Mr. Whiskers, but a guy who talks to his cat. Well, that's just one step away from the loony bin. He's kind of a Scottish mercenary. Talks a bit like that. Did you fuck the bitch? Did you fuck the bitch? Did you fuck the bitch? And then we have uh, Bosco. Pretty complicated inside the human mind. Who sort of sounds a bit like a somewhat dim southern gentleman. So he talks sort of like this. Well, a beautiful day. Pretty bad situation, buddy. Pretty bad situation, buddy. I know. One of us is a sort of the voice of uh, kindness and compassion. He is wrong. We're not like the pussy, Jerry. We have more. And the other is the is the voice of destruction and violence. Find someone else, kill them, and you will discover what it feels like to be truly alive. The movie is the blackest of black comedies. Fuck me. I'm an asshole.